Hey guys, it's Z here back with another tutorial. I hope you all are doing great. So as you saw in the preview, today we are going to make that ripple effect in CapCut. So let's start. So open your CapCut and set your clips according to the beat. For me, I'll use this clip. I made it myself in CapCut, so I'm gonna use this. I make my clips in 16.9 format, so I'll just change it into 3.4 and make my clip as big as the screen. Now we'll add some zoom ins and zoom out. Now for that, first of all, add a zoom in at the start, then add a scale key from there, then go at the second beat, then add a scale key from there, and then zoom out. Now go to the third beat and then zoom in, then go to the fourth one and then zoom out again, then to the fifth and zoom in again. After doing it, your clips should look something like this. Now we'll add the graphs. For me, I do my custom graph, so I'll just do that right now. You guys can use ease out too, that will work fine for you. After doing the graphs, now we'll add the ripple effect. For that, go to effects and search an effect called ripples. It should be exactly this one. There are multiple uh, effects with the same name in Capit PC, so you have to make sure it's this one. Add the effect in your timeline and then put it a few frames before the clip and make its speed between 70 to 65 and then adjust it like where it's looking good and then split it to the next beat then just copy paste it and put it on the other beat and split on the next beat now make its speed 100 and put a keyframe at the starting then go at the end then make its speed 70 now just copy paste it on the next beats and then you will be done and now you have successfully made the ripple effect or ripple shake whatever you guys call it but before I end the video I wanted to tell you guys that you guys have been asking me to make a tutorial on my shake plus on my graph like how I do my custom graphs so about that I'll upload it uh, but not now because I don't know like how to explain the shakes and the graphs that I make uh, in near future I'll do it but after like a month or two not right now for now I'll just cover up some basic transitions or anything new that's like trending right now and also I want suggestions from you like on which things should I make tutorials so please tell me in the comments see you guys next time till then bye bye